A new experience almost every time out when they go on the road in the Southeastern Conference. The first tip is one to Arkansas, and Lee Mayberry runs the show. A dump down to the big O. Well, Auburn starts out in a straight man. Tigers are 0 for 2 to start. And the Auburn defense has to give up something. They're going to give up the perimeter shots, but Lynn is on a real roll. You mentioned last time out a career-high 22. Only the second time in his career at Arkansas, he's been in double figures, and he hit 6 of 9 against uh, Alabama. Starts out again. Person throws up a brick, and Oliver Miller with the outlet to Todd Day. Arkansas out to a 7-0 spurt in the first minute and 20 seconds. The only way that Auburn's going to stay in this game is with the perimeter shot, and Person finally makes a nice cut and gets uh, the first battle. Battles for three. Miller clears. And once again, just one shot for Auburn, nothing close to an offensive rebound. Mayberry. Lee Mayberry with a tray. 10-2, Arkansas. And, of course, Miller and Day get an awful lot of press, but Mayberry, the key to this team, the way he runs the offense. Last four games, Tim, he's had 41 assists and only four turnovers. Brandt inside, rejected by Miller, his first block of the night. Mayberry for three. <laughs> See, Lee can stick that, and many people wonder why he doesn't take it as often as it as he does and the reason is simple he runs the club that's right his first duty is to get the ball inside to the other scores primarily miller and the day swinson the sophomore from brunswick georgia knocks it home 13 to 6 and that's about swinson's range he's not going to get farther than that from the basket todd day says i'll answer you with a tray and a steal the first turnover by auburn's backcourt against the pressure wallace counted in a foul against battle and Brandt just to may match up well against Arkansas in the full court game. Forced that one a bit, and now the outlet to Mayberry. See, if you miss one, they'll make you pay on the other end. Well, if you're the other backcourt player for Auburn, you have to realize when your teammate has penetrated, you have to get back defensively. That time, Wincher went to the basket, and nobody got back defensively for the Tigers. An 11 2 run for the Hogs. Battle. 21 to 9, Arkansas. Wallace. Grant has it taken away by Roosevelt. There's an example of the strength of Roosevelt Wallace. Yeah, and how Brand is kind of uh, outmanned trying to play the center position for Auburn. Swinson with Oliver Miller in his Cameron first. Boozer tipped it out of there. Willie Jones controlled it. Battle. Feeds person. Nice work in transition, and Wesley has six. And the feed from Ronnie Battle. Yeah, that was a pretty pass in the first easy shot that Auburn has had this entire ball game. Day into the lane. Counted on a foul. See, that could be a basket the basketball for Auburn. gets there. The defense has already arrived. This time they don't get there in time. That was the whole difference in the play. That time Battle got the shot. And Jones clears. Well, Willie Jones has had an impact. Grant. Chris Grant with a little authority. And champ And Arkansas out of the zone. Back to the man-to-man -man defense. Oh, counted and a foul. Willie Jones over the... It'll be a good matchup one-on-one -on -one between those two. Day takes it away. Great illustration right there of the quickness of Todd Day. He came from about three steps away to make that steal. Hawkins. Darrell has four. Wrencher in the open court. He took step. Mike Chauvin. Shepard for three. Just another piece of the Arkansas arsenal off the bench. You're absolutely right. So many weapons. And this Last two minutes. Very important for Auburn. Shepard. Posted his man up. Warren Lynn. <laughs> He is he has found his zone 
the last couple of times out. Well, you get in that situation where your confidence is just sky high, and that rim up there looks as big as a wash tub, and that's the way Lynn is going at it right now. He didn't even have his feet set that time, just popped it. Swinson set a nice pick, and battle launched to Troy Auburn, becoming quicker to the ball. Swinson with a left-hand lean. It's a 7 nothing run. And maybe in the first half, Auburn gave up on Swinson because he was an inside player. Battle. He's launched two shots and hit them both here in the second half. Starting to warm up here. 45-41. Hogs by four. They've led by as many as 17. Day draining the tray. And Day does it when you need a big basket. Battle. Off the dribble this time, creating his own three. Nolan Richardson recognizes that it's becoming more difficult. Miller rejected. Out of bounds to the Tigers. Miller. Finally comes up with it. What soft hands he possesses for such a big guy. <laughs> I'll tell you, the big guy puts one game in a hurry because with the 11-point deficit, if they don't, Arkansas runs it out of here. Wesley Person brings the, the first half. Person. say the top guns are Winston's on his hip matchup advantage thank you coach Issel 52-52 what's that from the floor battle <laughs> I'd say he's going to war in the second half too ever in Rupp Arena so everybody comes out to watch the Hogs play that mental toughness that Richardson was talking about Really bears out what happened as Mayberry knocks it home. Remember, they hammered Kentucky at Rupp. They had to get to the offensive glass on the far side. Mayberry for three. Lee Mayberry now beginning to recognize that he may have to score more in this second half. He's up to 14. Well, we talked about it in the first half. You have to give Brandt a lot of credit because he's playing out of position at the center. Oh, a big play. Swinson. That's something that should never happen. A follow-up shot off of a missed free throw. Mayberry. I can do whatever I do to beat you. That's the Lee Mary thing. Shepard for three. Mississippi State at halftime. We'll keep you posted. And look at that. Gallon with the Hawks trailing. 66-63, Auburn. Does not fall. Okay, makes up his mind, puts it in and draws the foul and so do it. Six and a half remaining. Gallon lost his dribble. Mayberry. Oh, he tried to draw the foul, but Battle would have none of it. But Wallace converts. 68-66. Well, that lapse by Gallon for Ronnie Battle. Day. Fans wanted to walk. Really a nice move by Todd. 21 for him, 70 to 60. Student body giving Mayberry a little air ball action. Oliver Miller says, I'll softly put it in. And he has eight in the game, 72-67. Grant with Lynn on his heels. Out to Gallon for three. Reggie Gallon with a full tank. Shot clock down to 12. Miller backs in over Swinson. 75-70. Give Coach Eagles a lot of credit for getting his team motivated when once again the game means absolutely nothing to Auburn. Give Oliver Miller a lot of credit for stepping up his game in the second half. He only had two at the intermission. He ends up with 13. Nolan Richardson <laughs> taking some deep breaths on the road in this league. 
The Auburn Tigers fall short 82 to 74.